Hello, my name is Jess. I'm an advertising specialist here at Better AMS, and I wanted to record a video today for you on how to optimize your account using the targeting tab. So we're gonna get right into it, but if you're not currently following the Better AMS YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button so you can get notified when we release more videos like this to help you better manage your brand. All right, so the first thing we need to do is find out what is our category average conversion rate. So this will be different, obviously, for many different categories, right? Um, I manage some brands that the average conversion rate is 6% and then others where an average conversion rate is above 20%. So you really need to find out what's a good conversion rate for your category in order to do what I'm about to show you. So we're going to need to go over to this little arrow here on the side, Insights and Planning, and then click brand metrics. Now you're going to have a lot of options to choose from depending on your category and where you're listed in. But for this one, very relevant subcategory is alternative pain relief. So I'm going to go ahead and select that one. And I'm going to look on the weekly basis as well as monthly. And it only shows you last week and last month. So we can see here for last week, we were at a 23% conversion rate and the category average is 22. Still, that's great. Um, anything above the average, I'm really happy to see because a lot of brands are under the average. So the fact that this is above, that means we're in the, going in the right direction, but we always want to see that improving. So if we select um, last month, we'll see we have a 24% and 23. So very similar um, to the weekly. Now, now that we know that, we're going to keep those numbers in mind and I'm going to go over to the targeting tab in your campaign manager. So from here, we're gonna hit that targeting. This is a different view than we're gonna see an, on a campaign level targeting tab. Um, and we can talk about that later, but you need to make sure that you're in campaign manager and hit targeting, not on a campaign level in the targeting tab. So from here, we're gonna select filters and we're gonna to go to conversion rate. So we know the category average was around 23% and ours was above 24%. So we're going to want to put this number, you know, it's, it can be however aggressive you want to get in terms of optimization. But what I'd like to do is I want to keep seeing that number get stronger and stronger for this brand. So I'm going to set the conversion rate at a 25%. So greater than 25% is the keywords and search terms I'm seeing right here. We're going to scroll over because what we need to be looking at is a cost and conversion rate bids and CPC. So now as I come through here, I want to make sure that my bids are set appropriately and competitively so that I'm maintaining a pretty high search, um, top of search or just impressions, right? Um, if I want to get more aggressive, obviously I'll take some of these keywords that are performing super well and put them in a ranking campaign. And a lot of these I already have in ranking campaigns because, you know, I want them to stay at top of search. And that's going to help our organic rank. So the reason I like to optimize using this method is because when you focus on conversion rate, you're helping the long-term health of your account. So we're not just focused on a cost and profitability here. We're thinking long-term, if I'm focused on these really high converting keywords, then the organic rank on my account is going to start to climb, which means our organic sales are going to get stronger and our ad sales will be secondary, right? Because we don't want to see a 50-50 and we don't even want to see a 60-40, 60, 60 being PPC. We want to see at least 60% coming from organic and 40% coming from PPC. That's ideal. 50-50 is okay, but we, we want to see a heavier on the organic side. So doing this on a regular basis is going to help that long-term health of your account and slowly start increasing your organic rank. So I'm gonna just come through here and look at the conversion rate and the bid and the A cost and just scan and really make those quick calls of, okay, if my A cost is at 31% and I have a conversion rate of 28, and keeping in mind that's higher than average and higher than what we're currently performing at, I want this bid, even though I have a higher A cost because my target A cost for this account is 30%, so I'm just a little, almost at 2% above, right? But that's okay because the keyword is doing long-term good for my account. So I'm going to set this at 170 and I'm just going to scan through and do that with every single keyword. And you can take 
as much time or as little time as you want doing this. That's the kind of the cadence I like to use. Now on the other side, we're gonna do this in reverse for anything below a certain conversion rate. Now, I like to go just a little bit below the category average for this, or even right at the category average, right? So it was 23% around there. So I'm just gonna stick it at 23, even though it's a little bit above. So anything less than 23%, we're gonna take a look at that now. Now, some of these are going to be um, what, like profitable, right? Because they have a lower than 30% A cost. So I just wanna see for efficient, efficiency sake, I want to see anything above 30% A cost. So actually I'm going to do just so we can be really optimized here. I'm going to do anything above 29%. So now I'm going to see all conversion rates that are less than the category average and any A cost above 29%. And I'm going to go through and do the same thing, but opposite, right? I want my bid to be lower than my CPC on these, um, on these keywords because I want to cut down on any bleeding spend. And this batch of keywords are, they need to be strictly profitability focused because they're not high converting, right? So they're not doing the same long-term um, growth for our account that the high converting ones are. So we wanna make sure that they are running very lean. Um, and if we wanna get real granular on bids so that we know like we're setting our target bid to match our target A costs, we, there's an equation we can do um, and shout out to Destiny for teaching me this one. It's a real nice hack. Um, you can take the amount of sales, so 4,277.69, and then you times that by your target A cost. So I'm going to times that by 29%. And then you take that number and you divide it by the amount of clicks. So 1,029. And that tells me that my bid needs to be $1.20. And you can go through and do that with each keyword if you have the time. If not, you definitely can just kind of guess on these. If your A cost is at 30% and your bid is 64 cents, then you can, you know, just do it a little lower and then you that'll work your A cost down. But if you want to be real, real precise, you can use that method. And then one other thing I want to show you before I let you guys go. If you want to take a campaign, like say if you have a campaign that is running at a really high A cost and you just want to look at that one. And if you go in there and you take the targeting tab to do what I'm doing here, you're not going to see the conversion rate because on a campaign level, the targeting tab does not show you the conversion rate. So you can come and hit filter by campaigns and ad groups, and we can select a campaign and hit apply. And that's going to show us all the targets for that campaign. And we'll be able to see the conversions. So then you can make the appropriate decision on raising or lowering a bid, knowing the conversion rate. If you like this video um, and you want to schedule a call with one of our teammates, um, please use the link in the description and we'd be happy to chat with you. Thanks so much. Have a great day.